Go ahead. What's up, Georgia? Georgia, let 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 let, let a glider queen um, tell us something right quick. Glider <laughs> queen, glider queen. What do you, what do you think about um, what what your 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 sister in arms has to say? I I'm a sun glider, so. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> well, you still you still you still got some glider, and you we don't do yeah. that. We don't do that one drop rule here, man. You still oh, okay. you have glider, man. Um, I I think they're just like I I think it's brainwashing. Um, I personally don't recommend, you know, a sun glider relationship, but, um, I think it's just a lot of brainwashing. And like you said, they don't know the signs, so they don't, they see these couples on television, but they don't know, uh, some people. So it's going to be hard for them to determine like a good sun man or a bad sun man. Um, and they're taught this whole anti-racism thing. So I think they're just going to tolerate a lot of bad treatment because they'll feel like criticizing it is racist. Yeah, that's really bad treatment for somebody to yell on a bullhorn that they fucking hate you and they want you to die. That's really, really terrible treatment. She's, she's, she's advocating that white people put up with this shit. If BIPOC stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs, I hate all white people. I want all white people to go die. Die, white devil, you cracker bitch. Um, that's still not racism. And I don't know why people don't get that, why white people are not comprehending that. That's discrimination. It's an action that's bred out of a prejudice, for sure. Justified, arguably. But screaming um, white people should die in my face doesn't change my socioeconomic status. It doesn't change the fact that the criminal justice system was built to serve me and people who look like me. It doesn't change the fact that my skin color won't get me brutalized by the police. It doesn't change the fact that the entire country was built to cater to people who look like me. Screaming I hate white people at me doesn't change the fact that I am dripping with white privilege. As long as I hold the power dynamic, I cannot be subject to racism. Hurt white feelings does not equal racism. Think about how racist she is. She thinks that because she's white and you're black, there's nothing you can possibly do to overcome that in any dynamic. There's nothing you can say or do to her. Her her whiteness is so omnipresent and powerful that there's nothing you can do, little son man. But it's true. I. It's true, though. You're saying like it's not true, brother. It's not true. <laughs> it's white so women look, are... They're just but, loud and annoying, but they don't have yo, I would, this superpower yo, they think they have. Yo, it's a son man that would put a gun in her face and beat the shit out of her broad day like <laughs> downtown, any major city, any fucking way. It's a son man would drag her into a fucking alley and rape her with a fucking broken bottle. It, there's nothing that she could fucking... What is she talking about? She's not... She did. There's plenty that us sun men and Omritos can fucking do to her to, to um close the distance between her white friends. Look, look, you got you got to understand. I it's a, not a bad theory because they, look, they have no agency. How else do you explain the state of emergency that the stand is in? It's Just a good thing. It's a yeah. theory, right? That's all. I, I I'm more towards your theory, the DNA theory, but this is not a terrible theory considering the. State of emergency, Chief. These people. She is. She. Hey. I personally take offense to the to that uh, synonym BIPOC. Yeah, I feel like that itself is racist. Yeah. And when anybody says it around me, uses it around me, I actually but, let them know that it's offensive, and I find it racist. I agree. So Why do you say that? Describing is like how all like black people will go around screaming about stuff, and it's just been normalized. So in yeah. the past, you had like the angry black woman and, or, you know, you just had some insane people, but now it's been, uh, I don't know, you either call it mental illness or just like, you know, the stress of being black and the whole microaggression. And you're seeing all the time, black people going on television, um, you know, berating white people yeah. and white people think like it's, it's a good, it's, it's their little um, struggle session that they're just going to sit there and, and listen to this and think that it's helpful. And if it goes too far, then it's like mental illness. Yeah, I mean, listen. I mean, white look, people... at our, look at our hero sister yesterday in North Carolina oh, laying yeah, it yeah. down to the man. 
Yeah, white white people are in a, in a, in a bind right now, man. Um, it, it, yeah, I mean, in a, they're in the pickle. Yeah. So, so let's think about this. She she said when the as long as the power dynamic is in her favor, then it's not racist, is what she said, right? Right. Do you think she would say one fucking word if she didn't have the power dynamic and racism was being portrayed against her? No, she would. Fuck no. Word. She's full of shit. Yeah. She's, she's completely she's, full of shit. Everything she has is because of white men. Everything. Power dynamic didn't exist. She would be property. Yeah, she would definitely. Uh, white women were sold in um, in in the slave markets in 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 um, North Africa up until the 1920s. That's a little known um, piece of history that's forgotten. It's not fair when the people have to experience this, when I never have. I mean, look at me. I'm look a how they talk. They're so arrogant. This is, they walk around thinking, look at me. What the fuck? Exactly. That's why That's why they have to understand that the, the, the conditioning that they're in is the racism. Exactly. They're more racist than a redneck, whatever, yeehaw with a pickup truck. Does it talk like that? I have to go to bed now. Catch it real later, guys. All right, man. It's only the pasty liberals that talk like, look at me. I mean, I, I have the power dynamic. I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, you can, you yep. can say whatever. They, you they're so delusional, though, that they'll never acquire the level of self-awareness necessary to talk themselves out of this. Yeah. It's not fair when the people did you have peep to... The, the, did you peep that? The little um, fucking white girl holding the black dude's hand. What's up with that? It's just gross. What's so up gross. with that? But they slip it in. You see how they slipped it in? This is real, real subconsciously. And it's like, he doesn't have value without her white hand. Yep. That's racist. She validates him. That's a good point. I didn't think about it that way. She validates they love him. it. Look, y'all, he's not that bad. <laughs> It's not fair when the people have to experience this when I never have. I mean, look at me. I'm a lighter complexion. So what is white privilege? White privilege is a bad This is her. This is that Macintosh lady. Is white privilege. White privilege is advantage that I got from being born white in the culture that favors whites. Dr. Peggy McIntosh popularized the phrase white privilege more than three decades ago. She's an author, a scholar, and says it doesn't matter if you were born rich or not, white people in this country have an advantage. In a wow. So I know that's right. Matter. And she has, no, she has no educational background in specifically in race or even American history. She's just a random woman who wrote this shit, and because of who she was connected to, it was accepted as groundbreaking. Or psychology, or the study of socio, so, um, social, um, what is it, like, study of human behavior. She doesn't, she, she just a, a housewife, right? A rich housewife. This is crazy. We have it sociology. In a 1989 yeah. essay, she listed 46 ways being white has helped her. Some of my examples were if the cops pull me over, I can be sure it's not because of my skin color. <laughs> These are just broad. Anyone can be sure Americans. it's not because of their skin color. It's because they've got something wrong with their vehicle. They have a tail light out, they have expired tags, they have something wrong hanging from the mirror that's that, that's illegal that the cops can see. They what can't you see playing, the driver ninety nine percent of the time. What are you implying, Danny? Huh? Yo, this is yo. Oh, the yeah. The little funny. things, the little things are what the sun men forget about. Is what funny I'm thing though. Oh. Today, today I was talking to my neighbor, man, and um, like I told you, he's a cop, man, and um, he, he was all suited up and whatnot, and he was like, he was leaving out, and he was like, hey, what's going on? Um, getting ready, and I was like, where are you going to? You, you, are you a marine? He was like, no, I'm going to, um, train for for SWAT. I'm on the SWAT team. And I was thinking like, oh shit, we have a SWAT team now in this city, because, like, 
it's a bunch of little cities like you know like it's it's not like a, a, a New York where you got New York proper and then you got the suburbs. These are just little random cities all over the place over here. You know what I'm saying? There's no like big city around here that that unifies everything. So it's like you didn't need a SWAT team. Like when I came here, um, when I first started coming here ten some years ago, you didn't need a SWAT team. You just used the SWAT team from a neighboring region, you know, of the town. Oh, you need like you just need a SWAT team for the area. You dig what I'm saying? You didn't need every little city didn't need a SWAT team. When they saw you moving in, I they knew it was maybe time. Yeah, man. now that I'm here, man, all these little cities are now have their own SWAT teams. And I'm talking about like you just didn't have this here. Tenia, you never heard sirens in this town. You never heard sirens. Now you have sirens all the time, and you got a fucking SWAT team and a fucking I mean like you should need a certain amount of population to have a fucking SWAT team. <laughs> like we got 100, well, we have 170 cops in this town. How the fuck do you have a SWAT team in a town where you got 170 cops? <laughs> it's crazy, man. But it's 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 us, man. Now that we're here, all of a sudden in the SWAT team. Is being white has helped her. Some of my examples were if the cops pull me over, I can be sure it's not because of my skin color. Uh, I can go shopping alone pretty well assured that I won't be harassed or followed if I know. Because <laughs> black people are being harassed when they shop. Black yeah, <laughs> this shopping. white woman probably doesn't have a single black person that she knows. She's just well, talking on. out of her ass. And she hold never on, thought on. that it was her wealth that 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 afforded her all of this, and not just her skin color. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you you gotta you gotta pump the brakes on that because if you know some black folk and they know you're woke like this, you're wearing your wokeness on your badge. They're gonna feed you all the fucking confirmation bias. They're gonna, uh, I was. They're gonna feed you all the sob story, just like when George Floyd happened. So many black people that I've known all my life were now talking about like how their life, how they like being chased around with, by, with pitchforks and torches by police officers. And I'm like, dude, come on, you're, dude, you're, you ain't even like. It, not only is that not true, but you ain't even like in that. You never would like that to even have that happen organically. It, it's like once black people found out that um, after Mont Arbery, what happened? Black people started coming out talking about, I can't jog anywhere because every time I'm jogging, they come to pick up your yee-haw and, and all this bullshit. They come, so if you're, if, you're, if you're her, you can know black people and they know you're woke like this, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna tell you shit. They're gonna they're gonna feed, feed, they're gonna feed your um your um misinformation. Trust me. I know niggas. If, if a black person think that you feel you gonna feel sorry for them and you gonna give them some shit for feeling sorry, it's like a con. They're gonna ride like, that mule till it dry till yeah, it drops. Yeah. You see it all the time. We see it yeah. everywhere. And what, well, what's funny is these white women are going to latch on to that because they're ignorant and retarded. And the society they think is going to flourish after all this wokeness, you know, takes over is not going to be anything like what they thought it was going to be. And by that point, it's too late. It's going to be. Yeah, they're going to be sacrifice. locked in harems. It's going to be human sacrifices, general mutilation. No running water, no open sewers, <laughs> no energy, shitting in the street. It's going to be we, nothing like what they thought. And, and for the record, we're going to be fine. Some people are going to be fine with that shit. Yeah, y'all don't know any different. Like, y'all don't care either way. Like, it there's no. Y'all don't see. Y'all don't see. Like, when a white man looks at land, he sees possibility. Y'all don't. That's just nah, a fact. Nah. Yeah, yeah, we when we see, yeah, we don't, we don't think we we think more about life as more of um. When right some now. man sees land, he thinks of slavery. <laughs> it well, it's just day to day. 
with yeah, right some now. people it's just right now yeah. what what do i need to do today not yeah. 10 years from now not yeah. alleviating stressors what do i need to do right now yeah, and that usually in, well that usually includes knocking someone unconscious yeah i mean if the other person is only thinking for right now too you you might have to knock them unconscious <laughs> You know? Right, but the 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 glider queens don't understand that at all. They don't understand what sailboat they're getting on. These women are making a lot of money doing this. Even the Robin D'Angelo, she's white. She's um, Jewish. She's a they, Jewish they woman. Make, they make money. They they do seminars. They you know they get attention, uh, which they love. Yeah, more and more is the attention. Yeah, people yeah, tell they, them they're good people too. It's yeah. nothing to feel. It feels good to to be. You're a great person. Like you're a really good person. You're out here knocking down walls for less advantaged people. You're denouncing your privilege. You're a good person. Who 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 could resist that? You know what I'm saying? Really? What woman? Let me put it like that. What woman? Women women love helping like lesser people or animals. You know, like collecting women doing all that sort of, yes. all that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I can. So my uh, my stepmom, obvious glider woman, she, uh, her and I got into like a little bit of an argument a while back where she wanted to go to Africa to help, you know, the poor Africans. And I'm like, you could. There's plenty of people in America you could help. And she's like, oh well, I just want to. Like there's something about minority groups and white women where they have this kind of like extra strong maternalistic sort of yeah. virtue they feel they need to express that they just don't get from helping other white people. The problem but it's also though, romantic. Like to go to Africa, if I, I imagine myself, I'm wearing that like safari suit and it's beautiful mm. and everyone's worshiping me. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a to very to like colonial weird thing. Africa or something. It's a very weird flex that white women are really into for some reason. Yeah, the problem though with that is that one thing that you learn when you deal with some people, especially if you come with the notion that you're going to change them or you're going to stop them from doing something that you deem is like, you know, barbaric or um out of date or something some ritual or some um custom the same reason they think they can save a a a criminal man and and turn him around or save a a a man that's uh drowning you know yeah you you can't you can't change us and it's gonna be it's got to be frustrating man um because because they they go over there and like they'll see like like some tribes in Africa, they like do the cutting on the face and stuff. You know about that? They mark their faces with like they slice up their faces to the the the, 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 the the you know the tribes. Y'all know about that, right? Damn, I never heard yeah. of that. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the markings on the cheek. Yeah, yeah, and they they're very elaborate. They used to be very very elaborate. Um, before you know colonial time, the modern Africans don't. You know, because they're in cities and whatnot, but they still do that stuff in a lot of the rural areas. And you just can't stop. They just won't stop doing it. They don't see, you know, they they don't. And the white people go over there like, yo, you need to stop doing this. You should stop doing that. It's not, you don't have to do it. Now. It's, it's, you can't change them. You just can't change Africans, man. They, they 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 just don't change, man. Um, at the pace you want them to change, either, um, and it's it's it's, it's going to be it's going it's going to be frustrating for any white woman that goes over there. Uh, I can go shopping alone, pretty well assured that I won't be harassed or followed. If I need medical help or legal help, my race won't work against me white privilege is mostly a matter of lack of awareness of the big system within which lighter people worldwide have been advantaged and when talking about that system she's talking about that this woman who's a news anchor she's probably been you know put pushed to the front of the line everywhere she's gone because she was probably one of the best black ones 
Because that's one thing people don't understand. When you're the best of black. But let's not forget, she also probably has a room temperature IQ. Yeah. But when you're the best what? black person, you get pushed to the head of the line. Because the best 100 white people, they're all eating on each other. As the best black one, you've already reserved your ticket in wherever, whatever um, school, whatever class, whatever um, job field. You Your ticket's already punched while the 100 white people are just like competing against each other. For the for like maybe like what ten slots, and if you're the best black one, you 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 can guarantee you're gonna get the job, the promotion, the slot in the school, whatever. Well, as she was talking about, I can walk through stores without fear of being followed. You mean by fear of being followed by the uh, salesperson? You shouldn't be followed by those sun men that's targeting you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mm. Systemic racism. So what is systemic racism? Temple University's Dr. Malefi Asante, a leading figure in African-American Temple stu- University. Studies says it's the Uh-oh. enactment of policies uh, to uh, punish a group or to oppress a group or to suppress a group, whether it's redlining in various districts, uh, keeping people from. Yeah, why would people redline, man? I can't yeah. think of a reason. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> getting loans or getting houses, or whether it is suppression of voting. And scholars say systemic racism is one of the factors that can contribute to unconscious or implicit bias, another term we've been hearing a lot lately. So what is implicit bias? What it means is that uh, people who are uh, biased uh, often assume that what they are doing is natural, that it is that it is not based on uh, racism. A person may assume this guy's a moron, man. You yes, don't he use, is. When you and describe you something, it. you don't use the same word, right? <laughs> like when you describe when when they, she asked him to describe bias, he was he wasn't supposed to use bias as the word to describe bias, right? That's yeah, that's right. Definitely not how you define something. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't you don't use the word in the definition. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Bias, I was just gonna say that bias is is natural. That's a natural human um, thought or process, right? Um, a bias towards or against something, discrimination to be discriminatory. That is natural. Yeah, so yeah, um, stun it. If you, if you go into a certain school and you got some out of uh, off brand tennis shoes. Will people be biased towards you? You and I both know the answer to that, sir. (laughs) What it means is that uh, people who are uh, biased uh, often assume that what they are doing is natural, that it is that it is not based on uh, racism. A person may. (laughs) Yo, this guy's a fucking moron, man. They assume that. The black person who is arrested by the police must have been doing something wrong. There must have been something, you know, and in fact, <laughs> I, I pretty much believe that when I see anybody in handcuffs. That's always the case. Because, because police just first. aren't like walking around picking, you know, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's lock that guy up. And this man makes six figures, six figures at a job. He could never be fired from at this point. Temple, where yeah. black people are fucking terrorizing white students. And it's in white-ass Bucks County in a million-dollar home. Actually, Mayo's scenario could probably happen in a sun country. What just scenario is that? Pick, when the police are just picking people up for no reason the Oh, it happens in Mexico all the time. Yeah. It happens in Mexico all the time with tourists. It pretty much happens everywhere that isn't the Western white world. Yeah, pretty much. You say yeah. the cops in Mexico are kidnapping tourists? In in Nigeria, they'll stop you just to get a bribe. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's the same. They do the same thing in Mexico. Maybe that meal, but if the cops kidnap a tourist, I the mafia no, will kid- kill that nigga. The mafia not, will not kill kid- him. Not kidnapping. The mafia okay. will kill them because that's money out of their pocket. Mm. 
Yeah, you know no, these gliders. You know yeah, these gliders tip well, chief. They just they just hit them up for the bribe for the quick bribe. Yeah. When you when you're when you're a sun man and you're in a sun man country, the expectation of the quality of life and the um the cert, like the civil what do you call what do you call um firemen first responders and what yeah, do you call civil, civil services civil, civil services, services yeah. yeah the expectation of the civil services you don't expect much when you come to a glider country you expect it to be top notch okay so you don't even really get an accurate perception of how things are in other countries because some people or people of color they don't expect their um, police not to be corrupt. They don't expect the fire department to show up on time. They don't expect ambulance to come. They don't expect all that shit. They know you gliders. Oh my God, gliders are so special. They're so great. Everything works in glider countries. They come here and they fucking expect perfection out of you guys, um, which shows what they think of you. Wait, so, you, so wait, hold on. I, I missed y'all conversation. Y'all think that there's still time left to reverse this? <laughs> <laughs> y'all are hopeful. Nah. Y'all still y'all are better than me. I think Georgia says that Georgia thinks there's time left, man. Georgia oh. thinks that we can change things. Man. Oh no, nah, I'm up. I'm sorry, man. It's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> there's no it's just not the train is gone. Like you be saying, I like the train is just full speed. Like <laughs> it, it was no a break. It was a good it was a good run, Osa. No yeah, breaks. There's no breaks on this train, and it's not like it's just not there's no end in sight. It's not even like people are even close to realizing how stupid we've we've taken things, how stupidly things have gone. Like, and hey, and here, here's the thing, though, Osa. Every time we start this w- going in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? They make sure we go eighty steps back, not yeah, just one. Right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like it, it's it's like the, 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 those who the the powers that be are 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 betting that we will lose. You see what I'm saying? They betting right. that it's gonna be. 